Hi, it's Michael and Tamara Gottlieb coming Hi. to you one week before our Gottlieb family fundraiser for FSH and Muscular Dystrophy Canada. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Sorry. Um, one week to go and we've had a very busy few weeks and we have been talking and interviewing with a lot of friends out in the FSH community and sometimes the question comes up it's a rare disease how many people could possibly have it aren't we really just talking about one family it's much more than one family though Tamara I have to say when we went to that patient meeting two or three years ago in Rochester, <laughs> Rochester New York, yeah. it was incredible to walk in because we all looked the same. We all had the same facial features and it felt like I was with family. So when we look out into the world and we try and figure out how many people really have this disease, the real question is how many people are walking without a diagnosis today, are out there undiagnosed. So I'll just give you a heads up that in six days time, our last video with you before the live performance, we're gonna share Michael's story, his pathway to diagnosis, and you'll definitely wanna stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, today we want to share with you a few facts and figures that might resonate with you and might make you consider why you'd wanna get, first of all, on the books, FSH muscular dystrophy is the third most common type of muscular dystrophy or neuromuscular disorder. In reality, it's likely number one. Why is that? It's autosomal dominant, which means every time that um, a person with FSH has a child, they have a 50% chance of that child having FSH. Number two, it is vastly underdiagnosed. The majority of people that we've spoken to over the years have stories similar, similar to Michael in that they received every diagnosis under the sun except for FSH. And to be candid with you, it's a very big motivation for our not only raising money for Muscular Dystrophy Canada, but for doing these videos and doing our online fundraisers to share the awareness about this disease so that more people can actually understand what's happening with their bodies. And, um, yeah, I think we're really excited. We've wrapped up a few really fantastic interviews with our FSH family that will be coming to you at the beginning of Monday night's performance. And at the meantime, we've thrown a lot of information at you about the FSH gene, about phenotyping, about clinical trials. If you have any questions, call us, call us, shoot us an email, and we'll answer them in this week's videos. Thanks, everybody.